Hello Heritage friends, I'm back with you to do a little math lesson with you and today I'm just going to read you a story and this story is about the objective sorting. So as I'm reading this to you, I want you to pay close attention to how these friends are sorting because at the end there will be a little activity I'll send through to you. So this story is called The Three Little Firefighters and this story was written by Stuart J. Murphy. So Three Little Firefighters. We are three little firefighters. Hurry, let's get dressed. The parade starts in an hour and we have to look our best. So they're getting their fire gear on. But we're missing all of our buttons. We don't know what to do. Everyone will see our bellies and our belly buttons too. So they have lost the buttons on their jacket. I wonder what they're gonna do. We have to find some buttons and the buttons have to match. Each coat will need four buttons. We can't have less than that. So it looks like they're looking through like boxes and all the drawers to see if they can find any buttons. We found a bunch of buttons. We've got to have four sets. Let's sort them out by shape and find out what we get. So they're going to look through all their buttons and see what shapes go together. I found a set of circles, but two sets aren't complete. Our belly buttons will still show and we're out on the street. So one friend found some buttons, but the other two still need buttons. Clang, 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 clang. Ink spot, we have a problem. This is no time to play. We've got to get our boots on and find buttons right away. So there's Ink Spot the dog and he's ringing the bell. So they're still looking for more buttons. We've really got to hurry. We have to find three sets. Let's sort them out by color and find out what we get. So they've already sorted by shape. So now they're going to sort the buttons by color and see if they can find colors that go together. Can you tell your parents how many buttons do they need for one set? Do you remember? If you said four, that's exactly right. We both have matching buttons, but I don't. I'm afraid my belly button will still show when we're in the parade. So that last friend needs to find some buttons. Can you think of another way that they might be able to sort their buttons to make another set? Let's see what they decide. Woo, woo, ink spot, don't be silly. We are not finished yet. Let's sort the buttons out by size and find out what we get. So now they've sorted by shape, by color, and now lastly they're sorting by size to see if they have four buttons that are the same size. Now we each have four buttons, large, medium, and small. And last, our belly buttons won't be seen at all. So they saved the day, they sorted the buttons. Woof, 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 ink spot, no more barking. Now that everything is fine, we'll just sew on our buttons. Wait, I'm missing one of mine. Uh-oh, they dropped a button. Find it, let's look everywhere. Turn this place upside down, check under the fire truck. Wait, look what Ink Spot has found. What did that puppy find? The missing button, you're right. Clang, clang, woo, woo, woof, woof. Now every button is sewn on, we're ready on the dot. We are the three little firefighters with our dog, Ink Spot. And that is the end. So they were able to sort their buttons three different ways. Can you quickly tell your parents if you remember how they sorted their buttons? They first sorted by shape, what the button was, so they found circles. And then they sorted by color. You're right, all the colors that go together. And then they sorted by size. So they did shape, color, and size. Very nice. I am sending an activity to your parents. I'll be posting on your pages. 
and it is a activity with buttons and I'm gonna see if you would be able to sort them for your parents. So I hope you have a good time doing this activity. I love you and I miss you. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.